what an event, right? I just, I'm, I, I sort of feel like incredibly saturated sponge. I've just heard so many great insights um, and so many hacks and ideas. Uh, I, I know I'm going to be processing this and sort of thinking through all the great ideas for several days. What's, what's been the highlight for you, Jenna? I think the biggest takeaway for me was something that kept coming up in the various sessions. Um, Astro Teller mentioned this, also Lee Daniels did too, but the idea of not working from a place of fear and not letting fear be the thing that keeps you from taking risks or making right. big decisions, that's my biggest takeaway. Right. Yeah. Um, and so I said the biggest takeaway for me was, um, or the most enjoyable part was the uh, the Ray Dalio interview, and and I and I, I do want to say something to this effect because, um, and I'll speak for myself, but I think I'm encompassing the times when I say this. The, I would say I I unequivocally disagree with Mr. Dalio that we sensationalize news. The Times is committed deeply to being as truthful and as accurate as we can in discussing the issues of the day, of taking news and information we learn without fear or favor and putting it into the, wor into the world. We're also equally committed, and I think, again, I can say this for the Times, at giving everyone the microphone. And so having someone on this stage who says, you wrote about me and I disagree with it, and I think that you are doing things that I don't approve of, or having someone on this stage who says, I wish to register my complaint, that is something that not only do we, do we accept, but that we embrace. Because at the end of the day, all that we can do is give you access to all the information and say we hope that this makes the republic, makes the world, makes your lives better by letting you be exposed and deciding for yourself what is right and wrong. And so I would uh, encourage everyone in this room and anyone who's watching to read the article that Mr. Dalio was upset about, to judge for yourself what you make of it, and to say that we at the time stand behind that reporting, we stand behind inviting people to criticize our reporting and that we stand behind publishing what we find to be true as much as we can, as ferociously as we can, and without fear or favor for any person. And that hopefully in doing so, we make the world a better place. Great. So we said at the outset that we really wanted to involve all of you in the discussion, get you talking to each other. And I, I feel like with the hiring questions, which we're going to share back with you all, the culture hacks, some of the challenges, the groups, there's just so many great ideas. Um, and it's just been a magical day and a half for both of us. Uh, we've had so much fun. It's been great spending time with you. Uh, we will send you a note shortly about the date for next year's conference. Um, we hope and trust and know that you've made some great new friends uh, and shared some good meals. And we are now going to share a drink together. Motherhood, uh, motherhood, Mother Nature. <laughs> Mother Nature is still smiling on us. So it's beautiful out there. And again, I just want to end by thanking you all for coming. And I hope you've enjoyed yourself. We have. <laughs> <laughs>